And then finally, in lesson two, uh, considering the binomial distribution hypotheses test, uh, we need to remind ourselves of how to go about finding the critical region. So, um, first of all, for a, a one tail test, 5% significance level, find the critical region. So, assuming our binomial um, and we've got our null and alternative set up, um, so we want to find the probability of x being greater than or equal to some particular value um, it, for where it falls below the 5% significance level. So if we, um, you can do a bit of trial and improvement or trial and error on your calculator, you're essentially looking for uh, the value of x that satisfies that statement. So if we try x is greater than or equal to 4, that gives us a value above 0 0.05. If we try x is greater than 5, then that gives us a value that is below 0 0.05. Okay, so 5 is the critical value, uh, so the critical region is um, x being greater than or equal to 5, which for this binomial is just being 5 uh, or 6. Okay. And in example four, we've got a two-tailed scenario. So finding the critical region for a two-tailed test. So a couple of things to think about here. This time it says probability of each tail should be as close to 0 0.01 as possible. Okay, so not necessarily less than, but as close to it. So 2% level, uh, two-tailed test, so we have the significance level, but we're looking on this occasion to get as close to 0 0.01 as we can. Okay. So um, set our binomial up, and if we look at the lower tail end, first of all, we're looking for probabilities as close to 0 0.01 as possible. A little bit of trial and improvement on our calculator uh, takes us to 3 and 4. Okay, and you can see of those two, uh, this one is slightly closer to 0 0.01. And then at the upper end, if we look at 18 and we look at 17, then uh, we get these two and you can see that um, greater than or equal to 17 is slightly uh, closer. So the critical regions are less than or equal to three, or we could write it as between zero and three and at the upper end greater than or equal to 17, or we could write it as between 17 and 40 for this binomial. Okay, so that's your critical region. And then the actual significance level is always um, going to be less than the significance level that was quoted. Um, and in this case, it's going to be the probabilities of being in the critical region. So it's uh, our probabilities from above this one. Um, and this one added together. So the uh, total probabilities of being inside the critical region, so 1.63 on this occasion. So the actual significance level of the test for a normal, because it's a continuous variable, will always equal the significance level quoted for a binomial um, or any of the discrete distributions. The actual significance level of the test is going to be different than, and um, in the vast majority of cases, less than the um, quoted significance level.